Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. In this video, we will be removing and reinstalling a washer level sensor in a 2010 Honda Pilot. If you need parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. All right, we're gonna start by taking this cover off. We're gonna pull these little pins out, get this out of the way. We'll take these two off first. We can move this out of our way. Take this one off. Take this one off. Once you get all those pins out, we can pull this off, set it aside. Next, we're going to use a 10 millimeter socket, extension, and ratchet. Take these two 10 millimeter bolts out. We raised and supported our vehicle. You don't have to. Um, it's easier to gain access to everything if you raise it up. Um, now we're going to move the tire so we don't have to take it off. We'll just turn it to the left. And then there's a Phillips head screw that goes up here. Take this out. Take that out. And then there's a Phillips head screw right here. You're going to repeat these steps for the other side. Next, we're going to use our screwdriver and pull these push pins out. Release the center piece and then pull down. We have one here, one here, one here, one there, one there, one there, one there, and one there. If when you're uh, pulling these out, if you break one, because they are pretty fragile, we do sell kits at 1aauto.com. The 10 millimeter bolt right here. Take that out with a 10 millimeter socket. Ours is, the plastic is actually cracked on ours, but normally you would have to take that bolt all the way out. Try this one. And this is the same. The plastic is cracked. So, but you should take those bolts out. Now we're gonna grab this side of the bumper right here. We're gonna pull out. Right like that. And then you want to stand in front of the bumper a little bit. I'm going to hit right here to unlock these clips over here. Just like that. And over here, I got to disconnect the electrical connectors. Down here. You push on that for the front bumper sensor. And then right here is the fog light bulb. We'll just disconnect the connector while you're still holding the bumper from falling. Then I'll grab a partner to hold it for me. And then do the same for this other side. Pull it straight out. And then holding it and just push. Pull that out. Like that. Don't drop it. And then Grab these connectors right here. That's for the sensor, and this is for the fog light. And the whole thing should come forward. Your washer fluid level sensor is here. Um, we have no washer fluid in our reservoir right now because we're doing the motors at the same time. But if you are doing this and you have washer fluid, you're gonna make sure you have a drain bucket underneath to catch the washer fluid. When you pull it out, disconnect the electrical connector right here. Take it out and just push this little tab and that moves that lock down. Now we're gonna pull our washer level sensor out. Just pry it down slowly. Go back and forth with it.
pulls out like that. There's a rubber grommet on here. Uh, when you install your new one, you're going to install the grommet first. Slip that in. Make sure that's all the way around. Then we'll take the level sensor, slide it in. It's a little bit tight right here, but it will go. Just go up with it, working it back and forth. And there it is. And we can reconnect the electrical connector. Lock it in. Okay, we'll reinstall the bumper. We're gonna get it lined up right there. Before we push it on, I'm gonna reconnect the electrical connectors, hook up the fog light, and then hook up the front sensor connector. All right, then we're gonna line up the center up here first. And then Line up the headlight area next. And over here on the side, we want that all lined up. So just snap that in like that. Snap those in like that. This is gonna go on the inside. And same for the other side. This piece right here is gonna go. In there. Like that. You may have to lift up on the bottom of the bumper a little bit. So we're going to put this screw back up in here, get that started. Once you get it started, you want to line your, your bumper up so that it's flush up with your fender. Make sure it looks good over here. You might have to adjust it a little bit, so it looks pretty good like that. And we'll take this Phillips head screw and stick that one in here. Do the same for the opposite side. So half of our undercarriage cover um, was in the right spot and the other half isn't. So we're gonna just pull this forward like this. Just like that. You're gonna reinstall these two 10 millimeter bolts that are on the end. Ours were broken, so they're still there. And then we're gonna install the push, push clips. Take these, push that in, just like that. So that last one. I'm gonna reinstall these bolts up here. Start with one right there. Go to this one. Once you get them both in, then we can snug them up. Make sure this is lined up with the headlight good right there. Now we'll install this cover over here. Line that up. Pull this out of your way. And then this goes over on top. And we can put all the push pins in. Now we're gonna take our brand new washer fluid and fill up the uh, washer reservoir. You wanna make sure you use new washer fluid or strain out the old washer fluid. When you're done, just put the cap on. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, 
fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.